Hi guys, how's it going? Matt DeTomato right here. Welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4. This is another part of the Let's Play as uh, Korea. Uh, in the last episode, we wasted a huge batch of energy on trying to um, trying to attack Uzbek, and in the end, we wasted so so much because it ended up being a white piece. Um, nothing we could do about that. So we kind of need to walk in over this way, uh, which is annoying. Right, so no colonial maintenance at the moment. Um, actually, no, are we still colonizing? Yeah, we're still colonizing Octops, but we're nearly there. And I'll be able to move this 8k stack into the army, uh, because I believe I'm going to need to do that. Right, so you're retreating to this province here, so let's go there. Uh, new national idea. Uh, I think I need to wait for some technology this time, though. although the global settler increase is amazing. I think we need to wait for some tech here. It's going to be important. Right. Our military is quite poor. The thing is, it was Tiberistan that got Uzbek out of that. Because without Tiberistan, they would have been in so much trouble. But then there was some AI bullshit there as well that uh, did not help our cause. And now we have to face up to 28,000 rebels with no army, or next to no army. Come on, why does it take so long to move across there? I guess because of the terrain there. Okay, why are we paused? Come on. Right, okay. So I think once we've done colonizing, uh, I'm going to move this 8k stack into here. Uh, that's going to be important to merge these guys together, I think. Um, is Ming still fighting? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, I'm going to issue an embargo back against um, Japan there. Issue embargo. Okay. Right. Okay. We've lost that siege. Of course we have. How close are you to enforcing your demands? Okay. Ouch. Mongol Septists are about to fire as well. That's quite annoying. Right, so we'd have 25k against 28k. Ouch. Okay, uh, technology. Diplo. Yes, absolutely. We need that. It's important. Right, this colonist is nearly done. Right, I'm guessing we're making half decent money here. I think we are, yes. Um... Yeah, can't really do a lot there. Because we're not actually colonizing at the moment. Uh, we're keeping that money back. Um, I think I might want to use the money to recruit an advisor. Uh, better relations over time. That's not bad. Um, what about admin? Yearly inflation reduction. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's make sure admin points kick in around as well. That's going to be helpful. Of course we have. Uh, let's go ahead and move back into here then. And um, Wow, what a pointless war against Uzbek. That was garbage. And now they've got another alliance in here as well, Yarkand. Um, you know, guarantee the independence of Changatai, who I'm not very happy with, uh, because you pieced out of the war. You're allied with the Timurids. Okay, that's fine. You could do with the Timurids or somebody going in for a big attack against um, against Uzbek here. It'd be interesting if I could get an alliance with the Timurids though. Your tech is behind Uzbek so that's the only problem. Uh, right, come in here and de-siege. This is a hills province as well, so if they did their attack... Okay, Otos has become self-sustaining. Super duper. Okay. Um, so now I can bring this 8k stack across to help out. Okay, so now we're making good money. We should be anyway, because we're not spending colonial maintenance. Uh, so I'll use that money to um, get all three advisors going. Uh, we'll go back to colonizing at some point. Ming broke their alliance with Landa. Okay. Career in Tibet. You're actually allied with Tibet. Okay, but Utsang has become a big nation here. No doubt uh, Ming is probably interested in vassalizing uh, Tibet there. Right, Ming's coming across. Interesting. Okay. Where are you going? 
Cyan, okay. Are you coming across to help me out? Yay, you actually are. Put it into the treasury or gain some prestige. Well, we got some good prestige. Uh, let's take some ducats. It's going to be helpful, that, I think. Uh, what was our mission again? Oh, yeah, Ulitsai was our mission. Yeah, which we hoped to pull off, but didn't. Uh, where are these rebels going? Uh, ooh! Oh, dear. We're going to lose this 8k stack. Unless Ming decides to reinforce, but I think we're going to lose that stack. Because they're coming in across here. Yeah, we lost. we're going to lose that army, I think. Admin tech? Yes, we'll take that. Uh, we dealt some good damage, though, to the rebels there. Maybe I should move in here. 301. You have a terrible leader. Go. If you could help DCs that, that'd be great. I think you're going to get a ticker, though, aren't you? Really? So annoying. Yeah, we're going to go in for a fight. I'll see whether Ming actually comes in to help out or not. Uh, looks like we're going to be... Ooh, shipbuilding time. Minus 10%. Nice. Might uh, check our naval morale then. Okay, we got rid of the rebels. Thank God for that. Right, come in here and help out. Okay, so... Um... Oh, that was the army that retreated. Yeah, okay. So bring you back across to here. Right, so... Uh, ships. Oh no, we're at our navy force limit. Okay, that's a shame. Okay. Are you kidding me? You know what? Come into here and attack. You come across to here. Right, so with three advisors, we're still making decent money. So we can still do some colonizing, uh, I think. But at the moment, we have no army whatsoever to be able to do that with. Yeah, next time we go in for a fight against Uzbek, we absolutely need Ming to come in and help us out. Because, yeah... <laughs> That didn't go so well. The other thing that didn't help, though, was the fact that uh, Tiberistan over here uh, was ahead of us in technology. We should have checked that out. But we're, we're back up to... Uh, we're level with them now, so that helps. Okay, so Ming is desieging over there. Thank you very much. Good. Okay. Um, what is the supply? Your supply limit is nice and high. I like that. Let's move these guys over to here, then. These guys have decent supply limit. Is everybody... Oh, right. every, every part of our nation seems to be higher. Okay, that's good. I'm not complaining. Right, so... Um, let's build a spy network in Uzbek again, then. Um, I think we're not going to want to declare a war over this way. Pretty sure. Right, you... Sort that out. And oh, our conversions are coming on quite nicely here. So that must be helping out with our uh, tax money. Because obviously, uh, religious unity contributes uh, to um, the corruption. Um, so the fact that uh, we don't have that much um, division in religion and things like that, then we might actually be okay. Okay, so. Um, it's safe to say I might want to do some more colonizing. Yeah, we've got enough to do some more colonizing here. So, what I think I'll do is... Once this army is merged, I'll split the mercs off and then pick a uh, pick a colony to go colonizing with. Because um, I could do triple colonizing right now if I wanted to. Uh, boot out all the advisors, but I kind of want to keep the monarch points coming in nice and high here, especially as we've got the um, queen who is uh, pretty good in terms of points here. Five three four is nice. Uh, one five six is decent as well. Um, unfortunately, the admin's not great there, but um, it's fine. I got no complaints. So let's go ahead and consolidate, detach mercs. So there's four thousand of them. Ooh, we'll lose some diplo power. 
and we'll pick up the mercs and we'll move to here. Okay, Royal Marriage of Changatai, nice, and let's colonize this. More borders with Uzbek as well, so that's good, which means more land I can claim for. Okay, so you are, okay, a little bit better. Uzbek still at technology 10, that's good. Uh, I'll throw in a leader over here. Uh, let's throw in this guy. Good. Okay, right. So, uh, we do want to keep moving north over here. We want to make this bigger. So, uh, that's still important to us. But uh, my focus is on uh, Uzbek right now. When is our truce up? It was only a white piece. Okay, so it expires in 1563. So, it's a year's time. So, I've got a year to build up some manpower. So, 26,000 men. That should be fine. Your truce with Uzbek is 1566, so you're not likely to want to join the fight. But then if Ming is, we're going to be in a superb position. Now, what is Ming's technology? It is also 12. Excelente. So maybe I should have waited then. I should probably have waited um, before uh, declaring war on Uzbek. I should have brought Ming into the battle. Uh, right, so we need to revoke our embargo against Japan, because that's costing us a lot. Uh, revoke embargo. Okay. Good. Okay, and then part the diplomat straight over in Ming once again. Now we could go and declare a war on that primitive uh, province over to the east over here, but I don't really want to do that at the moment. Uh, I want to let my manpower build up and things like that. Now, the word Korea keeps getting bigger, which is nice. And Japan just announced me his arrival again. What the hell? I don't understand that. Oh, because it keeps on... I think it keeps on getting into wars with its subjects. Uh, and then, of course, it decides that... Um, it, it keeps on winning the wars against its subjects. So, it therefore becomes a rival again. I think that's what's happening there. It might be a glitch, but I don't know. I've no interest in Japan at the moment, though, so... Absolutely no interest in Japan. Uh, I'm just waiting for this uh, September to come around here, so that we can go in for some more fighting against Uzbek. Um, 17,000 troops, okay. You have no truce with Ming, that's good. Now, Yarkand, of course, is a nation that might be coming in here, but if Ming brings all its troops over, then... We're, we're going to be in a good position. I mean, look at all these men here, just kicking around. Okay, right. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll wait to fabricate a claim. Another claim, that is. Uh, I think we need 30 for that, yeah. Um, so, the two provinces we need to take are Ulatsai, Uliatsai, and Urzar over here. They're the two that we really need to be taking. Um, because this one is our mission, and this one would split the nation up completely. So that's what we need to be doing. Changatai will not join in the fight, I'm pretty sure. Because um, they, they have a longer truce than... Because uh, uh, Uzbek took land from them. So, might get uh, Uzbek to return that province if we can as well. Right. Now, the, the thing we've got to hope for, though, is that Ming gets here before Tiberistan does. Uh, so we've got to be careful with our army here and not get involved in uh, some crazy trouble. Um, let's fabricate for Narum as well. Oh no, let's fabricate for Uliot's Eye. Because that's the one that we want to take um, for the mission. So, And if we have a claim there, then it's uh, no Diplo points. Right, so let's try again here. Uh, the question is though, will Ming join in? Um, we don't need the global settler increase right now. Uh, because we're... Although we are colonizing up here. But I think I want to conserve some admin points for some cores. So, declare war. Ming would join in. Superb. Okay. Take Uliatsai. Call in Ming. Charge. Okay. Walk down here. Run away from the army initially to allow Ming to come across. Uh, raise taxes even higher. It's in our capital as well. So, Ming joined in the war. So, come on then, Ming. Uh, help me out here. 
hoping that this time we'll Fleming get it right. I'm a little bit worried about these guys over here. Uh, of course, that is the colony. Uh, but they are, these are mercs, so I'm not overly fussed if they die. Um, so Uzbek's tech is still 10. Ours is 12. So is Ming's. Here comes Yarkand. Uh, ooh, we lost our military guy. Um, let's take Fort Defense. Just in case we run into trouble. Okay, here comes Ming with a badass leader. So let's see how this goes. I wouldn't attack into... Oh no, you can attack into that. Go on, Ming. Uh, I'll come in and help you if necessary. Uh, Ming's got enough troops here, though. They've split their armies as well. That was stupid. So Ming's going to go and trash that up. Nice. Okay. Wicked. Detach a siege. Move forward. I'm going to do some carpet sieging in this area. Although Ming has... Uh... Do you have any interest in this province? You do. You have a claim there. Okay, so Ming might, might want to take that one. Uh, no, 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 no. One case stack. Move there. Ming might be interested in that. Okay. Um, detach a siege move in here. We uh, declared for Uliot's eye, didn't we? Yes. Okay. So I don't have to worry about this one, but I do want to occupy it. Okay, going for a fight there. Oh, um, what's this? Changatai is also at war. You attack Yarkand. Okay, so technically you are in the fight as well then. Technically you are. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay, walk into this little province here. Right, and you come across to here and we'll have a better stack for carpet sieging. Let's go in and do some conversions there. Um, we've also spotted some pirates again, so let's go and deal with that. Wicked. This is going better. See, once you have Ming into the fight, it's fine. Because they're so darn powerful. Uh, right, keep going. I want to I occupy Narm as well. Narm. Because um, that is one that I would like to take. Right, you're walking around here probably to go and do some DCG. Uh, can I catch you? Here is our... Ooh. 30th of April. Ooh, and you're locked in. Superb. Okay. Um, what general's in charge here? Put this one in. And you put in the two siege pit guy. Uh, for localized sieging. Okay, so you're going to pick up a crossing penalty. Uh, you're also going to uh, be hindered by the fact that we're two technologies ahead of you. Way good. Right. Uh, let's switch the leader to the two siege pit guy and move you towards the capital. And let's put a one siege pit guy into here and do some carpet sieging with this army. Oh, things are so much better when Ming's involved. Okay, uh, does Ming have any claims over here at all? I'd be interested to know. Um, it doesn't look like it. No. Okay, uh, is Yarkin willing to peace out of the war? No, not yet. I'd like to take some money from them if I can. And I'm going to absolutely wreck Uzbek. I'm going to be so darned aggressive with Uzbek here. Uh, it's going to be quite brutal. Um... We're going to spend loads of admin points on coring. Uh, I might give a province to Ming. Certainly this one. If they're interested in it, that is. Uh, they obviously they have a claim there, so they're obviously interested in it. Uh, but yeah. I'll give a province to Ming. I'll be nice. Are you rivals with Ming? You are. So even if I take provinces from Uzbek anyway, they're going to like me for it. So... Uh... Crap, get out of there. <laughs> uh, looks like we're going to go in for a small... Oh, no. Uh, diplomatic reputation. Ten years. Nice. Oh, they caught me. Oh, well. Peace off from Yarkand. Uh, right. I want all your money. Um, 
revoke a core on some of Changatai's land and stop being friends with Uzbek. Job done. Send demand. Okay, massive amount of money coming in there. Superb. Okay, I lost my carpet siege in stack, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but uh, huge amount of money coming in. Superb. Uh, Changatai wants military access. Sure. You can have it. Uh, Ming's going in for an attack on the uh, on the stack here, which is good. Um, Tiberistan, you are in this fight, but it doesn't look like you're contributing that much, which is interesting. Really? Come on, Ming. Right, I would like Narim. Narim, Narim. So please don't seize that one. Uh, but I'm going to have the capital now, so... Kaboom. Ming's going in for an attack over there, so I'm going to stand back and wait. I'm going to be a bit lame. Um, right, now come back here. Cool, okay, full occupation of this. I'm going to take a load of stuff here. Uh, right, gain a general with a hundred tradition. Shall we do it? Yeah, we got the money. Let's do it. So, we have too many leaders. Holy bejeepers, look at that. Right, boot you out. And I'm going to boot you out as well. Look at this fella. Absolutely insane. So, we might have a good chance to be a bit aggressive here then. Especially if we can go in and... Um, go in over here and attack these guys afterwards. Might as well make use of the general whilst he's alive. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and put a 4622. And let's go and. Apologies for the language. Let's go and fucking wreck Uzbek. <laughs> let's go and fucking destroy you with a 4622 general. Holy shit. <laughs> Take that, man. <laughs> Let's occupy uh, Arjeen. Uh, again, that's another province that we might want to take. And this one up here we might want to take as well. I'm going to be so aggressive because they really annoyed me. Um, with um, the, that white piece war there. That really annoyed me. Uh, ooh, lose some ducats. But stability cost modifier and national unrest for the rest of the game. Or a bunch of national unrest. Oh, well that seems to make sense to me. Uh, let's go up to VAR and occupy that one. Ming's uh, occupied this one. We're going to go for a massive war score here. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm so annoyed with them. Taking our anger out. Now, of course, we're going to have a lot of rebels and things like that. We have Uzbek separatists anyway, so it's nothing, uh, nothing particularly major. We still have a bunch of uh, bunch of pirates kicking around over here. I'm also going to go ahead and dissolve this alliance because you're annoying. I'm, I'm going to just take you at some point. Not happy. And Uzbek's got some peasants. Uh, I don't mind you attacking the capital there, but, uh, you know. Uh, let's come and stand here, then, and let's see what we could ask for. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to... Does Ming want this province, Harmi? It does. Okay, so we'll give that to Ming, because we're nice. We'll take the war goal. We also want to take Urzar, because that means we can break up their nation. Uh, Narm, because we spoke about that. Um, Argreen, we can take. Var. Wow, look at the aggressiveness here. I'm going to take all your money as well. You're willing to do that. Revoke a bunch of cores on my land. Oh, actually, I could humiliate you, but yeah... Can't actually do that. Yeah. That's a good deal in my opinion. Okay, you're not willing to do that. All that. 
No, you're not willing to give any of these away. Okay. Superb. So we're going to take one, two, three, four, five provinces, revoke a bunch of cores, uh, give a province to Ming, and give me all their money. Deal. Take that. Screw you, Uzbek. Right. Cores. We could have taken a bit more, but I don't want to be overly aggressive. Protect against Uzbek. Have an army equal to or larger than. Well, that's pretty easy. Or do we take... It's the same same reward. Uh, let's take Protect against Uzbek. That'll be a lot easier. So... Um... I'm going to create a 6k army uh, with which I'm going to use to put here and then I'm going to disband the Mertz. I'm going to keep this army kicking around over here in case of rebels, which of course is going to happen. Um, we're also being painted over there, but I can now mothball the forts. There we go, good. Uh, I'm also going to um, revoke my guarantee on you. And I think we have no royal marriage or anything like that, so literally we can just wait until that truce is over and we can go in and smash you up. Right, uh, so these mercs I'm going to disband. And I'm going to move all of these fellas into here. Right, next. Colonize Gorontolo. Hmm. Where be that? Oh, that's one of these ones down here. Okay. Uh, I can see that someone is... Oh, no, that's Terra Incognita. I was going to say, maybe someone is colonizing down here, but it doesn't look like anybody is still. So, I'm fine with that. Uh, I won't take that mission. I don't don't really want to colonize down there. I could take the manpower one, but... Uh, Military access from no guy, yes, and the reason I'm allowing that is because I'm assuming, yes, you're at war with um, Uzbek. No guy declared war, and Changatai also declared war, of course, yeah, on uh, whoever this was down here. All of Ming's army is stood over here. I'm slightly confused. Uh, maybe the were they involved in another war somewhere? I don't know. I have no idea. Right. Okay. Um. So, you're still moving into there, good. Okay, so, technology. Uh, we could take the military tech, but I think I might wait to take the diplo and admin first before we do that. Uh, I'm going to throw in the leader into here. He's the two pipsies general, but he's decent. And, um... Right, where be these pirates? For love of God. These guys are a pain. Right, now we could go in and attack this uh, this lot over here, but I'm going to create another army. Uh, we can't do any more colonizing uh, unless I kick out some advisors, so I'm quite happy to keep my advisors kicking around at the moment because they're uh, doing a good job. Um, do we have any more naval force limits? No, we don't. It's a shame. Uh, we could build some stuff, though. Um, trade, for instance. Uh, yeah. Build some trade buildings. So, plus 140, plus 130. Oh no, not that one. Plus 130, plus 130 over here as well. What's this one here? Plus 070. Okay, that's not too bad. But, uh, and plus 1. We'll take that. Anywhere else that's worth plus 1 over here. And we can build one more. Plus 127. That'll do. Excellent, eh? Okay. Uh, Uzbek Mongolia, yeah. So, obviously we can uh, walk in here and fabricate a bunch of claims and things like that. In the end, I didn't give that province back to Changatai, but maybe Changatai might take it um, in uh, in that particular fight there. So that'll be okay. Okay, um, so that's it for now then. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like EU4 and this playthrough's career, please be able to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, but for now, that's it, and join me next time for more for myself, Matt Littomoto, and I'll play through as Korea. See you later, guys.